has told us he wants to look spectacular tonight and to knock Shane Mosley Jr. out. Let's see if he can do it. It's Shane Mosley Jr. Gabriel Rosado. Okay, Shane, Gabriel. I went over the dressing. I went over the instructions. Back to your corner. The fight of the year contender. Jaime Mugia. He said, I didn't want to box, Jaime. I want to fight Joe, it. Joe, Gabe doesn't predict knockouts very often, but he has tonight. Uh, I think he, I think he has a thing you have to do. You know, I think this is going to be a technical fight. We know that Rosado, his reputation precedes the jab. And of course, Gabe Rosado, not, not only a contender for fight of the year last Knockout year. out of the year for his shot against Benton Black. Black. Mosley slightly taller, and he has almost a same in the distance from Mosley Jr. This is our co-main event of the evening. Mosley Jr., he, he didn't load up, not loading up on punches right here, but they're hard enough to, to get the respect out of the Warrior and Rosado. Rosado didn't throw a ton of punches against Mosley, but a lot of power shots that would crush a normal man, but Mosley's chin has become legendary. And he, doors, he looks for the right opening, and like we saw with uh, Melikuziev, yeah. even though he doesn't have a glossy record, he's 26, 14, and 1. He's almost like the Diaz. He's been in there with the best of the best. Like Triple G, Lemieux, Peter Quinlan, Daniel Jacobs, Mugia. It's by everybody, man. That's crazy. Got to get past a very slick Shane Mosley Jr. Who admitted? That question, and I surprisingly got that response. I believe I let that fight go. I lost focus, and I'm not going to do it again. I learned from it, and you don't hear that often from, from fighters like that. See, this is the type of fight these fighters have power, they have speed, and they have the ring IQ. I think it's going to be a back and forth. More action here in the second round. This crowd getting restless, but they saw plenty of action. Let's send it over to Chris Mannix. Yeah, Todd, Gabe Rosado is 36 years old with those 14 losses on his resume. Can I keep going? His answer to me was, why not? He says he still feels pretty good. He's still in entertaining fights. And still kind of reminds me, Sergio, of Glenn Johnson, who was a guy that kept getting knocked down and beat. An Olympian and a champion, of course. Antonio Tarver, Montel Griffin. I mean, these Olympians and champions. And Rosado, I think, is cut from that cloth of Road Warrior as well. I feel like Rosado is trying to set up counters. He's trying to fill out what Shane Mosley's trying to do. If he's trying to box, if he's trying to, you know, uh, dictate the action, he's filling out his power as well. Um, I think fight in order to win the fight. I mean, he has to be, you know, active and win a lot of combinations. More of an off-balance. Type, type of fighter that will, will stay in there until he sees his opening. You know, he'll fall behind on points Rounds just to get looking to win convincingly. Yeah, exactly. And I feel like with Gabe Rosado, uh, he has to dictate the pace. Uh, especially because Shane Mosley, he's a lot, you know, faster, longer. He can fight a lot of pace. The last time there was this many boos with a Mosley in the ring was when Sergio was fighting. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. See, look, Rosado's looking for the oh, peck the bully with. That's his style. He's a veteran. <laughs> so let's see if, you know, we hyped you up this fight. said it was going to be action. I, I said it was going to be technical, you know, because uh, now they're smart fighters. And fight Rosado. coming up. How's preparation going? Everything's going well, man. Uh, just prepping for the side view of Ryan Garcia later tonight. Exactly. Exactly. There's a left that scores for Rosado. Sergio, how do those boos affect a fighter in a round? Because he's so unfamiliar with the oh. crowd being uh, booing him. He just got caught with a stiff jab. And Mosley had many fans would know. Five. You know, he made it to the finale. I mean, that's that's some of the best right. boxing I've seen Shane Mosley right. from. And that's the thing about Mosley. So talented. He loses focus. And the, the thing that I, I liked about him and when we spoke to him is that he... Another good jab for Mosley. That was a good round by Mosley. You know, not staying in front of Rosado, not letting Rosado. Okay, Rosado trying to push the tempo a little bit more, forcing Mosley Jr. All he has to do. I mean, he has to dictate the pace and apply a lot of pressure in order to One spot two. instead of like moving around and stuff like that. So, I think uh, his game plan is going well right now. I think later, you know, fighting the pocket where Gabe Rosado's going to be able to land some good shots. Nice left there, Diaz. Right <laughs> That brings some energy into this. I love it. 
Nice chopping right hand right by Moldy Jr. Oh, oh right hand. Oh, right nice, hand nice. from Rosado. Very but Moldy Jr. with the jab keeps him at bay. Right. That rocked Moldy Jr. But if Moldy Jr. is anything like his father, if he ever, he'd be getting Oh, and a big uppercut for Mosley Jr. That stumbled Rosado. Can he take Mosley it? Mosley Jr. coming back with the right uppercut. That rocks. They caught him again. Rosado. I think Rosado knows how to be hurt a little bit more. Mosley Jr. better be careful. Rosado will be dead. Yeah, nice an uppercut. I, I, it looked like it was a I, He landed it at the end, but it wasn't It wasn't flush enough to hurt him. I don't think. We'll right. see some replays here between the rounds. I'm pretty sure not many people Mosley Jr. knock out. But it looked like he had Rosado in some trouble in the overhand right. That's why I was surprised when you said that Rosado was the, the favorite in this fight. I I would think that Mosley Jr. would be the slight favorite. But, and, and, and knowing how to fight in the championship rounds and knowing how to fight hurt. That, that, Let's check in with Chris Mannix, who's with Freddie Roach. Freddie, what do you want to see from Gabe here? I want to see more combinations and many shots. Much slower pace than against Munguia. How do you like the pace in this one? The pace more. I feel like uh, Shane Mosley, he's feeling more comfortable. He's feeling relaxed. He's the way that Mosley Jr. Yeah, boxes. Yeah, he, he literally looks calm. He's picking the shot. What he has to do. I feel like Gabe Rosado is, you know, um, a little... A little the power, I'm telling you. Mosley Jr. has some, some, some strong hands. And uh, Freddie Roach keeping it honest, keeping it real, saying... Let's take a look at some CompuBox numbers, and it tilts in favor. Rosado, and I love the focus from Mosley. Well, you yourself said that Rosado's not really interested in winning the rounds right now. He's trying to knock guys out. There you for go. something big. And this would certainly be the biggest win of Mosley Jr.'s career, when he can hang his hat on. He is trying to force the pace a little more. That's right. Oh, a right hand scores for Mosley Jr. Yeah, he's getting more aggressive, but he's running into shots now, trying to close that gap. Popping him with that jab, still setting him up with the right hands. Rosado looking for the counters, but falling behind. Now with Chris Mannix, who's with Bones. Bo Bones, what do you think you see from Shane? What do you want to see from him in the second half of the fight? Well, I'd like to see him move to the right more because he's going to take his right hand away from us. Right, move the right away from him, and then we'll be able to land our shot. Thanks, Bones. Love that advice from Bones Adams. Move to the right, staying away from that big overhand. Right. Yeah, Todd, I've got it four rounds to one in favor of Shane Mosley Jr. You could easily make it five rounds I'm to one. Pretty yeah. flawless performance so far from Shane Mosley Jr. And I like what Bones said. He said, we don't care anything about knockout. We don't care anything about it. When the knockout comes, you're not looking for it. There's a right from Rosado. No one knocks out Gabe Rosado. You beat him up or, or the cuts open right. up or they stop the fight. Rosado, so if you can be comfortable. Ooh, good body oh, shot. Body. Good. That was nice. Oh, the watch. Yeah, he's fighting very smart. He's fighting very, very smart. I feel like Gabe Rosado, he's not he's not thinking in there. He's just throwing shots to throw shots. Uh, I don't feel like he's setting anything right up. That distance. He's getting punched on the way in, but he, he wants to loop over the top now to get on the inside, even if it means taking punches. Yeah, he's doing what needs to be done, even if it costs him. Exactly. Yeah, he has to take my hand. I'd rather Same just here. do my sit-ups. <laughs> You're embracing something, and it's landing on you. <laughs> yep. What you want to see in Mosley Jr. against a tough veteran like Rosado. He looks like the Matador. We saw against Vectamir Melikuzia. Right. Don't go looking for the knockout. Keep boxing. Because Rosado is looking just, you know, keep his composure, stay calm, and just do what he has to. Uh, he shouldn't be engaging as much as he should. Uh, unnecessary fight. He just, you know, he lost all Ooh, big right, right hand right. from Mosley. Yeah. Go down, but, man, Rosado took that shot well. Yo, Rosado has a chin, dude. He has a brown chin. Stay calm, yep. Yo, Rosado. <laughs> and he's punching so effortlessly. You know, he's so good. Uh, he's not wasting unnecessary energy as well. He looks good. If he can keep this up, this is one of the best performances I've seen. A little unfair. Early on, I get it, but these guys are really giving it their all here in the last few rounds. I think they're spoiled. They, they've seen Rosado in so many great fights, and, and we've seen Rosado. Take a look at Chris Mannix's scorecard. Yeah, pretty easy fight to score down position. He can go the next round and a half to pick up the most notable win of his career. Beginning of the fight, uh, just because of the natural. Uh, oh, there's a left from Rosado. Going to be favored Moldy Jr., but I didn't think it was this 
convincing. I mean, this dominant by Mosley Jr. I'm really good planted once because I knew that it was just one punch to get me out of there. So you gotta, you gotta pick your battle. Not much time for Gabe Rosado to pull out something dramatic. Rosado doing everything he can. Mosley Jr. up to get a KO. I would think uh, he would have to open up, throw exactly the same Mosley throws his right hand in order to land a good right hand over the top. Uh, but like I said, man, same only he has a good game plan, you know, combinations and getting out right away. So he already knows that he has a fight. By Mosley Jr. Uh, no, right. Fighter meeting yesterday, it seemed like Mosley Jr. Out, really out. didn't know how much success he would have. He was like, I'm as, I'm as intrigued as you are. I just don't know what it's going to look like. Well, he has passed this test. hard to give you know, Gabe Rosado one clean round in this fight. But he was pretty much pitching a shot out, and that's very difficult to do against a veteran like uh, Rosado. Yeah, I don't think Gabe Rosado won any. I think uh, Shane Mosley won every single round. I, uh, I agree with you. Yeah. And still playing the Matador, not letting Rosado bully him. Good oh, okay. He wants Shane Mosley Jr. to throw. Yeah, he does. Jr. to engage because that gives up Rosado an opportunity to land something, but Mosey Jr. is not giving him that opportunity. That's intelligence right there. That's power boxing. That's the sweet science, and Mosey Jr. is not giving him. Not giving him. Oh, a big right there from Lee. And as expected, Rosado going to go out on his shield. Great that final moment. A plus performance by Shane Mosey Jr. And new WBA. Continental America's super middleweight champion, Shane Mosley Jr.